Hey yeah, folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of a Let's Play Civ 5, A Brave New World as Venice, and things are going swimmingly. Now, one of the things some people have pointed out, because they went and tested it, is that yes, if you liberate a nation, it will vote for you in the Brave New World version of the United Nations. The reason I wasn't sure, despite the fact that I could Google it, is because all previous information, or rather all information I could find about liberating a city and having them vote for you, was all pre-Brave New World. And of course, things have changed a fair bit in this expansion. So. Uh, if I am having problems with uh, a diplomatic victory and I want some votes, what I could do is declare war on Poland over here, take this city and then liberate it, because this is still a Shoshone city. So I could liberate it, bring them back into the game, and then they would vote on me for a victory. So that is an excellent little plan B. Uh, plus, you know, Poland totally attacked me, so they deserve it. Damn them. Other than that, money is coming in very well. Of course, we are uh, making a fair amount of money from our deals. Um... Does it not show up in here? Ah, 83 from other civilizations, yes. Because, of course, they are paying us a bunch of money. A bunch of money. Other than that, um, keep making friends, keep decking up, and make it go. Uh, we do have a lot of money. Does anyone want a... Um... Oh, you guys. Oh, we're already friends, though, by, like, a bajillion. So... Yeah. I don't think we're going to be spending any money over there, so we could grab some more. Luckily, nearby, we're all good. Oh, Zurich! I'm tempted. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, like, for alliances or whatnot. Uh, Katmandu, one of these places that I send a trader out to, I think I'm attempting to send one to Sidon. I think it'll register next turn, which will be nice. Uh, over here, oh, I have a lead on Faith, so I'm going to get a boost from there. That's quite nice, actually. They want Tribute and a Great Artist, which probably isn't going to happen. Uh, I'm going to wait until the Faith kicks in, and then we'll, we'll pay them the difference. Oh, here, Zanzibar. Um, yeah, let's bribe them. Uh, the happiness of... Uh, we're far away from Golden Age. You know what I, want, I was going to do, and I forgot about that, is I'm mostly going to go after the maritime city-states, because um, then I will grow faster. Let's give them a thousand. Boom. Turn into an alliance, which is great. So our capital is going to get an extra three food, and all our other cities are going to get one food. And that's certainly peachy keen. Um, I think I probably need to send more trade routes to Venice and make it a super city. I think that's probably something that I haven't been taking advantage of that I really should have. Move on to the next turn. Hey, a research agreement! Wow! And I'd have to give them a bunch of gold. Now, that that's fair. This is calculated for a variety of balance reasons. I mean, just on the off chance, would you take it? No. You really want, like... Ugh. Um... Research agreements are pretty good, though, and I'm so far in the lead, which is why I have to, like, sort of sweeten the deal. But I kind of want to continue to stay in the lead, and I think, you know what, this is okay. We got money, let's be generous, let's spread it around. Like, who cares, right? Like, these guys are so far down the line. I might not do that sort of stuff with Poland. There's Williams not doing terrible, but, you know, I am doubling the score. Mostly because it's the wonder score. Uh, people keep asking me how to bring this up, actually. They're very confused about this. I believe it's an option... Mm. Somewhere. Interface options, probably. Single player scoreless. There we go. Single player scoreless. We'll bring this box over here. And, of course, anything you see uh, here, the little symbols for icons, it's over here. And I, I keep bringing it up, like, all the time, all the time, but people keep asking. Um, we got whales. Great. Okay, trade out is happy. Zanzibar is decaying. And uh, we're going to wait until we get another thousand and try to keep going there just so we can get a few other points. Mogadishu, suck it up. Just get over it. I don't know. I'm taking the rude answer there. But you know what? We we're, we're can't... <laughs> they're going to have to get used to the fact that we're going to buy all the city-states like this. Mm-hmm. Longs for culture. Well, I think we're doing a lot of culture, actually. Yervin wants ivory. Hmm. I don't suppose we've got a city-state with ivory around. Where can I find... Effulence. Show me Effulence. Oh, they're probably all over here or something. No? Mmm... Okay, there's got to be ivory somewhere on the map. I've probably skipped by it and I just missed it, because I do that a lot. Oh, it might be in the fog of war here. I forgot that there's still areas we haven't truly properly explored. We do have a few ships kicking around. Uh, looking for things, but oh you we're gonna go here and then stay on alert mode just to kind of guard this area from pirates I don't know how much of a problem that still is these days, but what the hell okay We are in friendly territory. Oh, I did want to point out that apparently yes You used to be able to upgrade your ships in friendly city-state territory apparently that changed on one of the patches So 
That was good to know, because I'm, I'm sure there was a video where I was able to do that. At least once. No longer f not even friends? No, that's a shame. Uh, well, we are at 1,000 gold right now. Florence has become easy with the presence of barbarians. You know, if I did pop these guys, I would actually be able to see a little bit more, and that would make me feel good. That's culture, that's... Uh, any maritime ones that I haven't flipped over yet. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Is Mogadishu the only one in Panama City? No, nope, we're good. Alright, so now I can really flip whatever I want. And, yeah, I kind of like the idea of getting a little bit of vision over here by making friends with Florence. Apparently they, they don't have ivory, though. Is there... What is there a city-state over here? Oh, Buenos Aires. You know what? Let's get them. Give a gift. Boom. Huge gold. We're now friends. Friends, not allies. Which actually sucks that friends does not give us vision. It's kind of annoying. Actually getting us more culture, and some of the people want culture, so we might actually, like, you know, continue to cycle. Hong Kong wants science. I'm pretty sure we're going to crush the science rate. Uh, over here, we can... You know, we can improve Venice a little bit. I'm gonna send it here. Um, this gives people science, which is a little bit unpleasant. I'll probably just do something like that. But, yeah, because Venice, I mean, I could grow it with food. Um, you know, take off the manual specialist control. Like, uh, can I tell you, like, don't... You don't have to be manual, but... Have super merchants. Well, I guess I could just check all the things. That might be okay. Hmm. It's interesting that it is deprioritizing growth the amount that it is. Um. These are all not bad. We really don't need an engineer, though. Let's... Because I, I wouldn't mind a scientist either. The, si the engineers, like, we can build wonders pretty damn fast, so I'm not worried about losing that race. We'll do something like that, and we'll keep growing a little bit faster, and that will be fine. Um, I don't think there was anything else I was supposed to resolve. Is there anything we want to buy? Well, we could get some more caravels to explore. Which, honestly... Let's go ahead and do that. I'm annoyed at the fact that we can't see quite as much as I would like. Go to Tyre. Or Tyr. Actually, apparently, so this, there's, there's quite the controversy about how to pronounce it, and I keep switching back and forth. Um, some sources online definitely say that you're supposed to pronounce it Tyr, as opposed to Tyre, even though there is a word literally spelt the same way that is pronounced Tyre. So we're going to go with everyone is right, so no matter what I'm, I say, I'm going to be pissing someone off, so that's always funny. Um, oh, let's go for plus one movement. That'll make me quite happy. I'm just going to call it T-Bone. It's T-Bone over here. Which can actually extend its reach by one more tile, which would be pretty funny if it did, actually, just to annoy these guys. Upcoming session, science funding, world religion, Buddhism. We actually have Buddhism, so um, that wouldn't be a terrible thing to encourage because I think we get extra delegates if that goes through, right? Um, World Congress. World religion, Buddhism. Designated religion, civilizations have the majority of the cities in their empire following their religion get an additional two delegates. Uh, faster spread, more tourism. The tourism is not a problem. It's Catherine. You know what? It's Catherine that's proposing it. Of course we're going to have to say yes. My god. Can we, uh... We can make a missionary, so we can actually spread it a little bit internally as well. Well, we'll wait to see. If it becomes the world religion, then we will spread it to all our cities to kind of lock that in as much as possible going forward. Um, you, you can just be on auto explore. You can't be on auto explore. Really, you have nothing to explore anymore. Okay, well, that's peachy. You know what you can do is you can go off the coast here. Oh, we already have a ship defending there. I forgot about that. Fine. You can go off the coast right over here and block... Oh, you're stuck. Really? How, how are you stuck like that? It looks like you should be able to get out. Although, it'd be easier if we had an open borders over here. Listen. Listen. Catherine. Kathy. Cat. All right. That's a start. Open borders? 
No, 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 no. Um, e. Want some citrus? No. All right. Sorry, my love. Um, you just come over here for now, and then we'll figure out what to do with you afterwards. Okay. Good, good, good. No more trade routes to use. Hit next turn. Um, Catherine, how dare you? How dare you declare war on her? Seriously. Actually. Um, can we, like, share the fact? Listen, you know he's coming straight for you. Hmm. No, I can't do that. Um, damn. I should put a spy in your city so that I can find out that you're plotting. Uh, Caravel, I, why are you stop? Oh, you were healing. That's right. That's fine. Um, I'm going to send you right over here. What did I get? Uh, ha Hakapalita. Hakapalita. So, oh, I did some research because I was like, uh, where did some of these units come from? For example, um, how does Poland have a camel archer? So apparently, militaristic city-states, when they give you a unit, they can give you units from units that are not in the game, which is kind of interesting. So this thing is, um, so it's mounted, right? Transfer movement to general. Great general moves at rate of this unit if they start turn stack. Really, that's really cool. More bonus from great generals? What the hell is this? Civilization. Sweden! Oh! See, I've never played a Sweden, actually. I really got to one of these days. Well, that is very neat and interesting. And um, we'll leave you right over here. Actually, there's even a great general there. Tell you what, we'll do it. We'll stick you in Moscow next turn. Then the great general will have the movement if something comes up. Next. Okay, we're going to be over a thousand gold, so we might want to look at bringing in an alliance. Or could we become a lighthouse somewhere? Good for you. Where do we want to trade? Oh, we should trade with Russia. We actually get some beakers from it if we did that. Uh, slightly more gold over here, but, you know, come on, Russia, right? I don't think it really matters. Um, if we go this route, it will spread Buddhism both ways. If I go this route, it will actually... It will spread... Oh, yeah, it will spread um, uh, Islam to me, which I don't want. That's what the pressure is. It'll be Islamic religious pressure to Hanoi. I don't want that. I want to keep up the Buddhist pressure because Buddhism... We're going to try to make it the, uh, the world religion. Yes, I'm sure. So we haven't really cared much about religion. We haven't even looked at what the uh, the bonuses of the religions are, right? If we take a look. I, well, we may have at some point, but um, Buddhism, the, like, help me in any way whatsoever. Um, yeah, actually, I like the influence. is quite cool, although I think that's, oh, yeah, that's the founder benefit. Plus two production, the city has a specialist. Well, that's good. Uh, use face to build pagodas. I like pagodas. Um, science. I think we still get the Pantheon benefit, which is certainly not bad and more combat strength, so that's not the end of the world. So we got a lot of, um, your religion, we got a lot of faith stored up, and we can, oh, we can actually build these, really? Uh, oh, let's get some monasteries going, and then maybe we can buy some faith units. Right, you are in Moscow, great, just sit there for now, and that'll be just peachy keen. Oh, I had some money to spend. Mmm... Poland ally over here? I don't think so, buddy. That's not how it works. And, oh, you want gold? Well, listen. Let's show them how it's done. Boom. Oh, our culture was not enough for Panama. Yeah, we're an ally. You don't, don't mess with my guys. Oh, I should declare war right now and steal all of his workers, because that would be awesome. Next. Um, mm, are you going to be less jerky about it now? 60 gold for that? You're really, really annoying. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to double check to see if I even want open borders now. I might still need to get a ship to go by. Zanzibar requests units. Rifling. Industrial age. Lots of deals just ended. Um... What? Why? 
Oh, why did all the deals end? Okay, we can no longer purchase monasteries. So, I mean, we could buy some military units. We can buy cannons. Or, or great engineers. Actually, that's probably best, because I think militaristically... Let's, let's set it to here. Let's take a look here. Um, at our demographics. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, we are number one in soldiers, and a fair bit above the average, so we don't need any more units. Apparently, some of the city-states are going to keep giving them to us anyway, so we don't have to worry about that. But some great engineers, you know, we can do something with. Speaking of doing things, do you have wonders to build? Oh. Yeah, sure. Just build the Red Fort. Why not? Um, we got a new spy, right. Which is great, so we can move you to... You know where I should move you to? What's your cap? Asur. We should move you to Asur. Boom. As a spy. Um, diplomats do increase the, the tourism, which is kind of cool. And I don't think they aggro as much, but they don't steal tech. Now, I don't even know if these guys have a tech, but we want to we wanna be in there. The diplomats will uncover plots to attack and all that. Um, barbarian encampment. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do much about that. Zanzibar is at war against Assyria. Really? Oh, that will not do. That will not do at all. You can't go taking city-states. Or chasing waterfalls. We want those city-states protected. I should have, like, announced some protection of more things. Yeah, I'll, I'm pledging to protect all the city-states. Uh, let's go down the list. No one gets to declare war on them. And we'll get back to you. Kathmandu, I've got to remember to do that. Oh, I've already... That's why. Okay. I was like, I just remembered seeing red, and I, I didn't even, like, really click into why. Buenos Aires, Florence, Mogadishu, Sedone. Uh, I mean, us city states, we've got to stick together. Tier, Tyre, T Bone. Boom. Okay. Oh, we got to get over there fast. Can I tell him to just, like, demand? Um, like, don't be at war. Make peace with? Zanzibar. I guess I already did that, right? The demand. Err. Okay, listen, Zanzibar, you just gotta hold out an, a turn or two. And then we'll declare war. Just hang on. I could send you units, I suppose. Although it takes three turns to get there. Um, and all of us, good. Rostov loves the king, because we got sugar. Loves the king, we got our great engineer. Uh, protects Hong Kong. First Council of St. Petersburg is now in session. Okay, so, um, I'm a little unsure because, can we tell what the votes are? We can tell how many they've got. Three delegates. Interests are largely a mystery. Unknown. Unknown, unknown. Okay, that's us. We only have one delegate? Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna go for world religion. Even though I propose the science funding. OK. 
Okay, it's not yet time. Come on, Zanzibar. Hold tight. Although, I suppose we could start bombarding from over here. That would help, especially on the trebuchets. And if nothing else, would probably prove very distracting. Let's, we're going to purchase another one of these. I want some range strength. Plus, I should have a powerful navy. You know what? How long have I been recording? I should probably put in a cut here, but I think next episode, I'm actually going to declare war on these guys just to protect Zanzibar. Um, later on, like one of the reasons I didn't have very many votes is because it's too early in the era for um, people to have the delegates. Where does it describe how many we get? Because as the, as the nation, or as the timelines go forward, <clears throat> you're going to start getting more delegates from having allied city-states. So we didn't at this time. Uh, I guess I won't declare this turn. I'll, I'll wait one turn, and then next turn we will, uh, we will declare. We'll at least get to see what the result of the, the world elections were. Yes, next turn. Go, go. Okay, Zanzibar's doing a pretty decent job, actually. Deal strength in our nation. Yeah, I bet. Why don't you give me, like... Slightly more gold per turn here. Yeah, okay, you'll agree to that. Um, no, but that's going to be too much. Seven. Let's try seven. Propose. No. Six, then. Let's do that. There you go. Hmm, money is doing well. Holy cow. The AI is just really bad at, at waging war. Okay, so there's our great engineer, which um, I suppose I could use to, like, insta-build this. We can wait until we get another tech. Where are we teching to right now? Oh, um, Big Ben would be, or Big Ben, Big Ben would be really good. And I think we do have commerce, of course. So that's great. We'll use the great engineer to get that done once it comes, um, and that'll be fine. We're gonna move the great Gallius as far as we can. And uh, yeah, we're gonna put a cut here. But I think next time we may declare war over here. See you, folks. Bye bye.